Hi guys, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel. So I have a lot to say in one single intro. I actually filmed this video yesterday and I looked really cute and that's why I look a mess. Also, I don't know what my hair is doing. I just don't want to deal with it right now. But I hope you enjoyed this video nonetheless. I used to make sticky buns all the time when it would snow and we would get off from school. Um, so that was kind of like a winter thing. My grandmother actually curated this recipe so like Thanks. The first step is actually to make the dough. I would recommend doing this the night before because it has to like rise and stuff. So the first thing you want to do is activate the yeast. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. You want to stir a packet of yeast into a half cup of warm water. Next you're going to stir together a combination of milk, sugar, shortening, salt, eggs, and two cups of flour. I just dumped all of this into my electric mixer and then you're going to like mix it until it's doughy and stuff. This is the part where you can kind of add more or less depending on your specific batch. Um, but you basically want to add enough flour so it's not sticky and tacky anymore. Um, and this is just going to make it a lot easier to work with later on when you have to roll this out. After this you can just dump it onto a floured surface and roll it into a ball. And then you're going to go ahead and put this into a bowl. The next step is to let this rise. I would recommend putting a cloth over it and put it in a warm place. This of course isn't necessary. If you want to just let it sit, that's fine. If you want to do it overnight, that's cool too. When it's done rising, you can punch it down and then split it in half. This is going to make it easier to work with when you roll it out. Then you want to roll this out into a pretty thin rectangle shape. We then thinly spread some butter on top of this and then topped it with cinnamon and brown sugar and raisins and maple syrup. You could also put nuts on this or exclude the raisins if that's not something that you enjoy. At this stage, you want to do the same thing to the pan that you're going to use to bake it as you did to the top of your dough. So just sprinkle it with all of the things that you put inside and that's going to make it gooey and stuff at the top of your cinnamon roll. Then you can go ahead and roll up your rectangle into a log that you can then cut up and place inside your pan and bake. These are the best thing in the world. I hope you guys make these and enjoy them and you have a lot of fun because I had a lot of fun making this. I hope you weren't offended by my pronunciation of the word syrup. Is it syrup or is it syrup? I don't know. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I worked really hard. I will see you guys very, very soon. I saw this really cool project on a TED talk. You guys know I'm obsessed with those. Um, so I'm gonna try that out and see if I can make a smaller version of it and see if that would be a fun video idea. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.